Hi, my YouTubers. I got something special going on today. <laughs> We're going to change hands. I'm going to be behind the camera, and Vinny, who is the cameraman normally and doesn't ever cook, is doing a special favorite childhood recipe his mom made for him. Vin, say hi to the YouTubers and tell them what's the name of that. How you doing, guys? It's My mom used to call it Pizza Frites. Pizza Frites, okay. And it's what kind of like a fried pizza? Yeah, small okay. mini pizzas. Okay, and he's working with uh, Pizzeria Dell. It's Try not my it's not my Pillsbury, in case anybody's wondering. <laughs> We're gonna have a competition. He's gonna do his pizza frites first, and then I'm gonna come up with something I like from a kid's favorite. But in any event, he's uh, manipulating the dough in his hands because he wants it a certain thickness, right? You right, don't want to create thin, a zeppoli because right. when you fry pizza dough and it's too round or thick, you get a zeppoli and not what he's going for. He explained to me that he wants it to be a certain thickness and then you fry it and show them what you're doing in oil on one side it goes quite quick yep you wait till it gets golden and it should be like you know the thickness in between a thin and a zeppelin not yep. round this way he has a platform see how he's creating a little plate because what he's going to do when he flips it he puts mozzarella on that's fresh mozzarella it's not something um like i normally use see they're nice and golden he flips them be careful when you lay the mozzarella down because he was telling me if the water because it's fresh mozzarella and the water from it will go in the oil so you have to be very careful you're working within the pan here you see and i'm going to let him not talk because he's got to concentrate and millie's like right behind him see watch yourself be careful that's from the mozzarella with the water but now that you know that little tip, you won't make that mistake. Yeah, and don't make it too hot. Don't make your oil too hot. Again, we're on crazy stove. And guess what, guys? She's on a five. We had her up to 10 to heat the oil. We did a test to make sure we don't burn. And then we lowered it all the way down to five when the oil came up to 10. And she's still crazy. We don't like electric. We're going to do this again in a year <laughs> just to get even. And then we can put it on the plate. Yeah. And then I'm talking here. What it is, is after you get them out of the frying pan with the melted mozzarella on them, he pours some tomato sauce on it, pizzeria sauce. We're using the, the rayos today because we like it. It's fast, and I didn't have any marinara ready. So now, you know, and, you and that's it. it. There. And you eat them with a little knife. Vinny likes to eat everything delicate and knife and fork. Me, I would be picking it up like a sandwich. All right, we do his taste test. Mm. I cannot tell you guys how long. Me and Vinny, I know Vinny right. for a long time, and we're married 15, 15 years. years wait and for he's it. been asking me to make these for him. And I said, well, how am I going to make your mom's recipe? I don't know it. You're talking and like you know it, so make it. And he called me out today, and he said, all right, I'll make it. I'll make it. This is a man who only makes cereal, people. That's okay? right. He only makes cereal. And maybe a sandwich if I'm not home. All right. We're going to let you vote after I'm up next. And I'm going to do my little mini pizza version. <laughs> All right. Enjoy. Thanks, guys. See you in the next clip. I'm up. Bye-bye. Okay. I'm using Pillsbury dough that I cut into circles. I have my Rayo sauce, fresh sausage I fried and crumbled, mozzarella shredded, craft okay so now let's spoon on some sauce to each of the circles put on a good amount don't soak it but a good amount to the edges there you go some more Oh, good. We have enough for both. Okay, now let's put on some shredded mozzarella. Nice. Nice. Put a good amount. Go to the edges as best as you can. Difficulties, you know us. 
keeping it real at the Fitzados, Janine's Kitchen. Okay, so what was I saying about my, uh... oh, I've never done these before. It's just a little imagination. I haven't even had these as a kid. It's not like something from my memory. It's not as glamorous as Vinny's childhood pizza feet. But I always wanted to do these because I, I think they're a cute treat. I think the kids would love this. My granddaughters, when I see them next, I'm going to say, let's do baby pizzas. And they're going to be so into it. Cecilia, right? Anna, Cecilia, Lucia, Grandma's going to do pizzas with you. And we could do meatballs instead of sausage. Got a lot of opportunities here. A lot of, a lot of different things we could do. Now, come on, people. That's looking delicious. And funny thing, I thought these were a little too big, but we just went to dinner the other night. I think it was that Friday. And we went to Seasons 52. And you know they're flatbreads. And they do a Philly cheesesteak one with chunks that big of meat, steak. Really, really good. I thought they were going to be chintzy because a lot of times their pizzas are flimsy. They're flatbreads. But no, I was pleasantly surprised. That's a little crispy. All right. Get in there. Get in there. Get on there. I'm looking for ones to fit so I can get a good amount. You see what I'm doing here? Taking a little more time than Minnie did with his. <laughs> okay. They have to go into the oven now. And they got to crisp up and become the most beautiful winner of the Pizza Free competition. My oven's preheated to 425, and I don't know how long they'll take, but I'm going to give them 10 minutes. Okay, let's see how I did with my little pizzas. Oh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm kind of proud of these babies. Ooh, I really like them. Oh, my granddaughters would love them, I think. I love them. Oh, wait a second. I don't recall Vinny having any Parmesan on his. <laughs> I didn't need it. <laughs> oh, competitive. Ooh. La, 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 la. They look adorable. Both are really good. I love the taste of yours. They're kind of hot for me to taste, so we're going to have to forego that guys and just hope for the best we're gonna put up both of them on the thumbnail in the video if you could comment and tell us which you like best or you think is the better pizza idea let us know it's all good fun we had such a good super bowl sunday today cooking these pizzas and having a blast who knew Vinny could cook now he's going to be on pizza duty when we have parties to make his frites and we'll say bye with that and have a great rest of the weekend enjoy the super bowl game and have a good weekend the rest of the day enjoy bye